What's up Giants Slayers? Brandon here from David vs. Glad PJJ. In today's video, I'm going to cover one of my favorite sequences from the close guard uh, when you have a wizard. If you guys want to learn to keep on watching. Alright guys, so starting off in the close guard, um, two situations where I can set up the wizard. First situation, alright, was when Shane makes a mistake and he posts his hands on the mat. Okay, I can reach up. Okay, and wizard. If this is the gi, I like to tighten up my wizard control by grabbing this cross lapel as deep as I can here. Okay, this already starts to put some pressure on his neck. I pinch my elbow, change how to take your, your arm out. Okay, his arm is pretty stuck. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot tighter than if I just wizard here okay, with my hand and rely on my elbow squeeze. I wanna tighten up my grip again by grabbing this uh, far side lapel. Okay, so sometimes it'll happen when he makes a mistake by posting on the ground. Okay, sometimes he's gonna do a good job and he's gonna post on you. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna swim my hands to the inside. Okay, as I do a strong knee pull, I'm gonna pull my knees up to my chest. Okay, from the closed guard, and I'm trying to get his hands to the mat. Okay, once his hands are on the mat, I'm again, accomplish the same goal. Coming right back to that wizard, okay, grabbing the far side lapel. Hey okay, Shane, how does your neck feel on this side? It's pretty bad. It's already kind of tight, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna choke him out from here, right? But this sets me up for a good choke. Okay, I call it a two finger choke. I'm gonna put my two fingers in his gi. Okay, so I'm not trying to do a traditional cross collar choke or even forearm choke. Okay, I like to put two fingers in the gi, right here, and I'm just gonna do a, a nice little knuckle choke. Okay, so I'm punching uh, with my right hand, and all the tension is on this uh, uh, side of the gi, right? Pushing into Shane's neck on the left side here. Okay, so it's a push-pull, okay? If you don't catch it right away, count to seven, count to 10, it's a strong choke, okay? So again, just two fingers in, okay, push-pull, okay, catch a nice choke. Yeah, a lot of times when I go to do that, okay, Shane starts using his uh, left hand to defend, okay, starts coming in. Okay, when that happens, if he's grabbing my wrist, okay, I'll feed it across, right, I'll grab his uh, forearm, or if I can reach his tricep with this left hand here. Okay, so I'm coming off the lapel, and I'm feeding this arm here. Okay, sometimes it'll happen, again, when he's defending the choke, okay, other times it'll happen when I'm hand fighting this hand, Right, I can bring it in. Okay, so again, I'm trying to trap it to my body. Okay, from here, I frame the neck. Okay, I offset. Okay, I throw my leg over. And I attack in the arm bar and finish. Okay, a lot of times, right, if I go for that, I pull his arm in. Shane wants to pull his arm away as he resists. Okay, I go to the inside wrist position. This is gonna be the strongest grip for me. Okay, so again, sorry. Here with this lapel, inside wrist. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit shorter legs. I know some of you guys who uh, follow the channel, uh, you guys might be short, but have a little longer legs. So two variations here. Okay, inside wrist. Okay, I can punch this away. Shane, try to resist this grip right here. Yeah, I dominate the inside space, guys. It's easy for me to get his arm away from his body. Yeah, I can put a foot on his bicep, look for my triangle. Okay, if you're a little bit longer legs, if you have a hard time doing that, lead with your knee. Okay, sometimes he'll grab your knee here. You can punch it through and come around, okay? Or sometimes, right, inside wrist, bicep, and then put your foot there and set it up that way, uh, kind of more in incremental steps, okay? And again, if I'm going for this triangle, all right, Shane does a good job resisting, he brings the arm back in, I can bring it right back here, okay, trapping his arm, going right back to the arm bar, okay? If he pulls his arm out, boom, I can go right back here and go right back for my choke. Okay, so this is a nice little setup, you guys, where I just keep chaining my attacks together off of this wizard and this cross lapel. All right, you guys, there you have it. Uh, one of my favorite series from the closed guard with the wizard. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, enjoying a new guest, Shane. Uh, thanks, Shane, for hopping in today. I really appreciate it. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM on Instagram at David versus Clive BJJ. I uh, would love to support you and answer any questions you have. Again, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>